morning, Sunday, April 5th, me, myself, and a Padron, a little bit of coffee, get pretty close to Easter, anyways, uh, had a pretty good birthday, thanks to all those who wished me well, appreciate it. Wife got me a couple of Padrones and a uh, nice bottle of 1792 bourbon. Didn't know it before, but that was the year that Kentucky joined the Union. So, something I've had before. It's actually very nice. If you've never had it before, go ahead and give it a look. Give it a shot. I think you'll be pretty much surprised. <clears throat> Not going to drink it right now. Sorry. It's early. I just barely turned the front porch lights off. Natural light coming in became good enough that I can make a quick little video. Uh. Real quick statement here. Uh, Y'all stay safe. If they're telling you stay at home, stay at home as much as you can. If they're telling you wear face masks, wear face masks. And uh, they're not trying to get you hurt or injured. They're not trying to make mo more money for the people that make face masks. In fact, those... People would probably prefer that you not purchase their product. Uh, mostly because every time somebody rings up for these non-surgical face masks that are going out to these places where you can buy them, somebody who's in the operating room is suddenly getting less of a priority. Okay? You gotta remember, supply and demand. If you demand a product, it, it still requires them to make a product. They're going to make it. But that takes somebody off the line from where they're making the actual, what is it, N95 or whatever it is, mask. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Just a statement. They're going to get paid either way. They don't care if you buy their masks. The medical people, uh, first responders, they're, they're going to care. Because, well, they ain't going to be able to do much without it. Huh. That's an interesting thing. I guess the guy who walked by is Catholic. He walked by uh, working on a rosary bead set. I guess he's praying while walking. Good for him. Alright. I obviously don't have a problem with that. I mean, look at my front door. It's looking very Eastery. Every once in a while, my birthday falls on Easter. It's another day that ends in Y, honestly, to me. <sighs> Real quick hit about coffee. <clears throat> Alright. Work on it at home. By yourself. Figure out what it takes for you to make an excellent cup of slow pour. And I'm going to say why. Right after these messages. As there's no messages. Okay. This coronavirus stuff is going to end. Eventually, you're going to have people back over. Except for Bill Niederman. 
I'm pretty sure he's not going to have people back over. But his wife probably will. Anyways. When you get to have these people back over, I want you to do something. If you've been practicing, if you've tried it, if you like it, fix a pot of coffee for you and your friends. Have them over breakfast, brunch, even, even you know, noon. Don't go coffee after one or two. Some people just will not be able to sleep on a normal schedule if you do that. But, um... And most construction hands could probably suck down a cup of coffee and fall asleep on your couch. you got to kind of be worried there, too. But if you've been trying to work with that slow pour, have them over. Take the time. Remember, time's the one thing... You can spend it and use it however you want, but you can't save it. You only got so much of it. But taking the time to actually slow pour coffee for someone shows an actual interest in them. Because you are going to take time to give them a product that you have at least somewhat found a way to enjoy. Uh, and I've been thinking about that ever since a uh, certain wizened, some would say wise ass, but wizened guy named Phil brought it up about Mary Tyler Moore, and that's the way she always served coffee when her friend came over on her show. And I was thinking about that. I said, look, if you can't take time for your friends... To show them how special they are. Yeah. What are they doing in your house if they're not your friend or your family? Right now, a lot of us have nothing but time. Uh, so take the time. Get, get to the point where you can show these people that you appreciate them. As obviously, uh, you don't know when they're going to check out of this world. So. Could be important. Not for me, anybody behind me. I, I'll go on with my life. That's what I do. That's why I'm the Voodoo Review. Anyways, y'all gonna have to forgive me for rambling on like I did. Mostly because I didn't have my cigar lit. About to take care of that. Padrone, 7,000 Maduro. My wife does not smoke cigars. But she knows I like Maduro. And she knows I like Padron. So when she went to the liquor store yesterday, on my birthday, knowing that she can't hide it in the house, and she said, Hey, go over there, grab two cases, or two 12-packs of Zig and Bach, meet me back up front. So I grabbed the two cases of Zig and Bach. Meanwhile, she ran into their little humidor. It's, it's a fairly nicely kept humidor, uh, this... It's a chain. It's, it's a very large chain. 
you, most people have heard of them. So I'm not going to talk names right now. Um, so she went in, grabbed two cigars, knew to look for the darker wrapper, and knew to grab something that said Padron on it. And then ran out and ran over and she looked for a pretty bottle of uh, bourbon. Uh, 1792. It, it, it's pretty. It's not really expensive either. It's, uh, I think I saw that it was like less than 25 bucks for a fifth in a nice pretty bottle. It's like, man. All right. Anyways. Something to look for if you're looking into bourbons. I know I've had them before. I'm, I'm not going to try and tell you all about it. Pretty good stuff. Drone 7000. Lungs to barbecue. Except for that it's never going to make it to my lungs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have an excellent Sunday. I always tend to wear football stuff on Sunday. Could be because I'm a sports guy. Wild tangents again. Anyways, y'all have a great day. Hopefully, we all survived this we can get back to regular days. In the meantime, long lives, big bowls, long ashes. I'll see you soon. <laughs>